Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. Before we get into your reading Aries, um, I want to give you guys a quick update. So we've been getting a lot of information, a lot of people, uh, followers, subscribers on here on YouTube and followers on Instagram, um, letting us know about people that try to portray themselves as us. Uh, creating fake profiles, fake YouTube channels, um, fake Instagram accounts, fake Facebook accounts. And I just want to let you guys know, um, whenever you come across a page that looks, you know, uh, a bit suspicious, uh, look into it. And if you happen to find out that it's not us, I highly encourage you guys to report those pages uh, because I have been told from uh, different sources that they're, like I said, portraying to be me and charging people for consultations for work um, without providing any service and the fact that it's not, obviously it's not me. Um, so I would highly encourage you guys to report them, uh, to report those accounts. I am highly thinking of, I'm still not sure, but I feel that um, there is something that needs to be done and I will be taking care of that. But for now, uh, unfortunately, this is happening not just to me, but to multiple creators. Uh, so my advice is, you know, like I said, to really report those um, those accounts and, and to, uh, you know, be mindful of the people that you're entrusting. Because like I said, I have been told that uh, a few of you guys have given you uh given them your personal information so again if you see any suspicious accounts or anything like that pretending or portraying to be us definitely um report them so they could be shut down okay uh also i you know the reason why i keep my comments open is because i want to hear feedback from you guys i want to know uh, the videos you guys are interested in, the type of work that you want me to continue uploading for you guys. But I'm also noticing a lot of spammers, a lot of people coming to my channel, uh, trying to send you to other people's channels or to other people's um, contact information and stuff like that. I just want you guys to know that I am not affiliated with none of them. Uh, so please don't get confused. Like I said, report those comments um yeah i mean it, it's getting out of hand and it, it's literally making me think if i if i should um i've been tempted to turn off the comments only to make it difficult for them to comment um but i feel like it's not fair for you guys so again if you do see those spammers um just report them uh to youtube okay all right let's get into your reading aries let's see what spirit has for you guys in regards to uh, your relationship or the person that you're dealing with. Spirit guides, what are the messages for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Give me the card that represents them, the card that represents their partner, person of interest, the relationship or dynamic, the advice and the likely outcome. Spirit guides, paint to us a very clear picture of what's going on with Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How are you doing, Aries? <laughs> Sorry for that long intro, but it's really like just getting the best of me honestly i you know this retrograde how is this retrograde treating you guys by the way um it's really testing me <laughs> my patience is very low um as of late so yeah people just really getting on my bad side not a good idea all right let's see what's going on with you aries i hope this retrograde is much more nicer to you Wow. Okay. So you have the moon card here, Aries, and this is the card that's representing you at the present time. So you may be feeling a bit restless. I feel that this passing, um, this passing lunar eclipse, uh, really set the tone for the transformation that needs to happen with you guys. There are certain things that you're not wanting to acknowledge or you're not wanting to accept in regards to your growth, in regards to 
uh, even the growth uh, or maturity of how you approach relationships. And there are certain things that you're just not wanting to address at the present time. But what Spirit is telling you is that it's necessary for you to get out, out, uh, get out of that of that energy. It's time to release the past. It's time to learn from the past, but also be able to move forward in a positive aspect, embracing new beginnings. Uh, the moon can also represent um, really having a bit of confusion right now. Uh, for some of you guys, it could be that you are confused about your feelings towards someone. Now, the card that's representing the person of your interest or the partner is the world card. So I feel heavily for a lot of you, Aries, you may be dealing with more than one person um, in regards to emotions. You may be still holding on to emotions from someone in the past um they have presented you by by they i mean the universe has presented you with a new opportunity uh the world card is an elevation it is uh, going into the next cycle in your life but again with the moon card there is resistance on your part so this could be a person that um you have your eyes on or that you're interested or you have been dealing with but there's something about them, I, I, I hear very strongly, higher form of commitment. So there is something about them that um, they can come off as um, really not wanting to waste time. They know exactly what it is that they want, and they're looking for uh, the same reciprocation in this connection. The dynamic itself is the Six of Pentacles. So again, I feel that this is a give and take type of relationship or connection. There is, okay, so I'm going to be honest with you, Aries. I feel that you guys may be holding on to some type of emotions or connection from someone from the past. You have been presented with a new opportunity, and I feel that you're resisting that opportunity because you're still feeling like you're confused about your feelings. But what they're telling you here with the Six of Pentacles is that it, it's kind of like your spirit guides are guiding you or they're shedding light on this connection um, they're wanting you to embrace this new beginning, but there's resistance on your part. For some of you, Aries, it could be that you're dealing with some type of um, overindulgence. This could be overindulgence in food and alcohol and drugs. Um, and it's almost in a way as a form to escape the feelings that you're not wanting to acknowledge or that you're not wanting to be able to really get deep into it and determine what it is that has been holding or has been keeping you from dwelling in the past. Um, it's almost like I see you wanting to embrace a new beginning, but then when things, when things get heavy or when you get to a point of really feeling that deep connection, you kind of run away from it. And again, they're telling you stop you, you got to stop with this cycle. Either you elevate, meaning you embrace this new connection um, and the higher form of commitment may come from that, but it's kind of like they're telling you stop running away from your happiness um, because you're often questioning or overthinking this. Now, with the six of wands here, this is in the position of the advice and the advice here is, you know, there is victory in this connection. There is victory in being able, like I said, to take it to the next level, but I feel that there's certain things that you're still working on as I do have the high priestess. The high priestess is also, um, if you feel a very strong pull towards this individual or person that you're dealing with, it's not in your head. It, you, you are actually spiritually connected with this person. Um, stop evading that connection or stop running away from that connection. It's almost like you're kind of self-sabotaging your own happiness. Um, because you're, you know, refusing to let go of something from the past. So what they're telling you is it, it, you're, you're going into a new cycle. It's time to embrace this beginning. Um, it's time to release certain toxic traits that you have a tendency of doing. And one of them is that whenever you feel like things are getting a little too serious or a little too heavy, you kind of pull away. Um, yet you're pulled towards people that are emotionally unavailable and those are the ones you're willing to jump into a commitment right away. So again, it, it's about understanding why you do that. So what they're telling you here is, yes, you do have, 
victory, you do have the potential to stabilize some type of commitment, some type of relationship, but you got to let go of those toxic traits and self-sabotaging mechanisms that you often have a tendency of doing, Aries. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I hope it gives you some type of insight. Like, share, and comment, and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.